How's it going, everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'm back again with a new episode of Tiny Home Tuesday, where on Tuesdays, I showcase a particular park model tiny home coming in at 399 square feet that we have available right here at Recreational Resort Cottages. And this Tuesday, I'm bringing to you the Sandpiper Reimagined. I am back again with a all new episode of Tiny Home Tuesday. And today I am featuring the Sandpiper Reimagined. And again, if you're subscribed like you should be and you've been watching these videos over the past few weeks, then you know here at Recreational Resort Cottages, we listen to you. And we provide the Reimagined series, which is our fan favorite floor plans. And we add the little tweaks that you requested and also that we have with the one-of-a-kind features to make the reimagined series. So right here is the Sandpiper, which we've showcased previously, but today we've added small revisions that go a long way. So this Sandpiper reimagined, as you see it, is 13 feet wide, it's 38 feet long, and that's including the eight-foot front porch, and it's on sale today for 93K. 93,000, you'll get everything I showcased today besides the furniture, and decor and it can be yours so again this 93k is for today not next week not next year so you better take advantage of it as you can and starting here with the sandpiper reimagined you may notice that we've added the shed style roof to this model what that means is that you have the low side on one side of the roof and it elevates to the high side adding a modern style aesthetic to the exterior and adding that curb appeal that we're known for here at Red recreational resort cottages. Also, on this model, we've chosen to black it out. We've added the black magic base, the black magic trim around your windows, but then we threw in that little bit of flair with the red gumball painted door. So that right there is gonna offer that pop that you're looking for. So we've got that added to this model. And then also you'll see that we have the stained southern yellow pine hickory interior porch ceiling. Right here as well, you'll see that we have the beam going across and then the open gable. We have no crow's foot on this model just to leave it open and inviting to our guests. So follow me up onto this porch and you'll see with eight foot of porch space, you have so much space right here to accommodate everything you need. And as we've got featured right here, we've got a couple of rocking chairs out here so you can rock your day away, act like you're at the Cracker Barrel playing checkers if you want to. But right here, you can see the abundance of space. You can literally sit down here, kick your feet out, and still have space for people to walk around around you. So that is a great feature with adding this eight foot front porch. Also notice the black iron railing, that black metal railing that you get going around is maintenance free again. If you're subscribed like you should be, then you know here at Recreational Resort Cottages, our exteriors are 30 years of warranty. That's on the James Hardy siding, the metal roof in black that we have on this model, and then also the composite Trex decking, as you'll see in the coyote gray below, 30 years of warranty on all of those features. And these rails, psh, you never have to stain, you never have to maintain. We want you to enjoy downsizing to your tiny home. And with that said, go up right up top and you'll see that stained hickory just pop in there for you. We've got two can lights out here. We have the bronze ceiling fan right here centered on the porch. And then if you look at the front door, that red gumball, I mean, whew, we like to color coordinate, so I had to do what I had to do today. But you can see with that, it's adding that pop and that flare with the cottage style front door. And of course, we've added the dual transom windows up above to bring in that natural light as well. Now again, as always, I can talk about this Sandpiper reimagined on the exterior all day long. But follow me inside so you can see why this model is one for the books. So as you come in here, ooh, look at this. You're going to get the grand entry as you come in. You've got the elevated ceilings, again with that shed style roof, one side lower, and it raises to the opposite side, so bringing in an abundance of 
open and airy feeling when you enter this home. Also, you'll notice this painted shiplap accent wall and we've painted it in black magic as well so that black exterior we had to add that pop in here on the interior for you as well and make this wall a focal point upon entry so i love that feature being there and with this said this home is 13 feet wide to be exact so with that you get plenty of space to accommodate your living room furniture you can put a small couch you got a chair over there if you need We've also added in these picture windows right here, two down low. We've got one clear story window up top. And then we chose not to add the entertainment center. We chose to leave that out and omit it in this particular model to allow you space to do things like we've done so here. Or you can bring in your own TV console and just mount the TV here on the wall. That is your option. And also get an interior view of those dual transoms up top, that just goes a long way and brings in that natural light. But the great thing about the Sandpiper Reimagine is the functionality of this floor plan. We've added an option in here, as you'll see. A lot of you have been working from home and you've been asking Mr. Tiny, can I get a desk in my tiny home? Well, guess what? We found some space for you here. So that way it doubles. I mean, you can literally do work here. You can eat here. This is your option as well. And again, with me saying option, that means it's your preference. So you can choose to include this item like we've done so here with the additional storage with the cabinets on each side and the desk down below. Or you can include this to be all cabinetry for you and have all of that space. You can add a dishwasher in here. The options are endless. Or you can say, Mr. Tiny, I want none of that. Leave it out, baby. Leave it out. So we can do that for you as well, personally. I would see it being a nice feature to maybe not include the cabinetry and have a space here for a small drop leaf table or something like that where you have a designated dining area. But again, you're watching Recreational Resort Cottages, so we give you plenty of options and we're showcasing this option here. Not only did we provide the desk space, but also we have the white subway tile backsplash behind that desk running from the countertop up to the bottom of the cabinet. We've also added in this window here, so as you're doing your work or getting your grub on, you can look out onto the property and enjoy the view. We have the hickory cabinets on each side, and those are accompanied by the black bar pools. We have black bar pools going throughout the entire cabinetry in this home, adding that additional feel there. And then we've topped it off with the Lysola countertop. So that is tying in kind of that black characteristic, that black feel that we've got going throughout the home, complementing the bar pools, the accent walls, etc. And follow me in, and with this more of a galley style kitchen layout, you have the space right here for your standard style fridge, meaning standard style with freezer up top, fridge down below. You can do side by side, of course, if you watch other videos, you know that's a possibility. But we've also added in the cabinetry up top. You cannot have enough storage and cabinetry in a tiny home. You need that. So with that being said, we've also featured the full size appliances with the smooth top oven here, the stainless steel microwave to match, and then the additional cabinetry going around. We also have your one basin, farm sink, and stainless steel, and the additional sprayer, so that way you can get washed up there. And you know, if you're subscribed like you should be, the Sandpiper Reimagined was a great and popular model. For what reason, you ask? My OG subscribers, let me know in the comments right now. Ding, 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 you're correct. It was, and it is, a one bedroom, one and a half bath park model tiny home. And with that said, you follow me behind this pocket door number one into the half bath. bath. So you do not have to worry about guests going into your bathroom personally. They can go handle their business right here in the half bath. You also have the cabinetry up above. So that way you have the additional storage there with the linen cabinet. Need I say more? So you have that, and then right across, we featured the black bowl sink. So that is an amazing feature. It is an option that we have here at Recreational Resort Cottages. Again, this is a limited run black bowl sink. You better get it while the getting's good. So that is a nice option there for you as well. We'll close this pocket door back, or actually, we're gonna leave it open. So that way, when we go back through, you can see, and remember, you have a half bath in a tiny home. And then right here in the hallway, you can see that we have additional storage space right here with a small 
three door pantry there for your convenience. And speaking of pantry, you thought that was it. <laughs> oh, you watching Mr. Tiny. Because guess what? We give you a full size pantry here with three shelves painted black to match. We've got that for you. And then down below, you can even see that we have the space for your water heater. This is a 28 gallon water heater there. You do have the option if you wanted to go propane tankless. You have that as well, but that's where we have that stored. And then right across, we have the space for your stackable washing machine and dryer. Again, you can do front load, you can do top load, and look at all this space and opportunity that you can choose to add in additional shelving if you would like. And then of course, behind the second pocket door, you're coming into the bedroom. And in the bedroom of the Sandpiper Reimagine, you know we had to do it right, right here. So we added in that black shiplap accent wall. So we've got that as a focal point as soon as you walk in, paired with the black duffy ceiling fan. And you can see again, even in this bedroom, it feels with a grand door feel as soon as you walk in because the ceiling heights are so large. And then directly across from that, again, you have enough space here. You can accommodate queen, king, everything in between. And right across, you have your barn doors. You have dual barn doors right here sliding open for your closets. And yes, you know we had to do it. Paint the shelf and rod black so you know I gotta do something. Real wood, ladies and gentlemen, we got real wood shelf and rod going through here. Again, we cut no corners when it comes to the models that we offer here at Recreational Resort Cottages. Again, we have the built-in three drawer dresser and the reason why it's three drawers rather than four that you'll see in other models is that we have your return air grill down there at the bottom again showing you options and features with it having a return air grill what does that mean we've added central ac to this model so we have the central heating and air system in this particular model so sometimes we feature the mini splits the energy efficient mini split systems, or for those of you that are traditional and want to keep it with the central AC, you have that option as well. In this model, we chose to showcase it to let you know of your options. And then of course, right here above, we have the space for your TV if you choose to add one to the model. And then you see all this space and opportunity here. We've got the clear story window up top, bringing in that light, small window over here. We've even added, if you didn't want to place your TV there, we again giving you another option here to mount your TV here on this wall. Again, if you don't want to mount it there, put a nice picture up there, act like it never happened. And then right here behind pocket door number three, oh my gosh, look how big this bathroom is. You follow me in right here. This is the ensuite bathroom of the Sandpiper Reimagined. Again, we kept the Lysola countertops going here. We've got the hickory cabinets down there as well. Again, your linen cabinet over your toilet. But what I love is right here, this feature presentation. The half wall with splash glass tile shower. We've added the Carrera gloss tile to the front of the half wall as well as the rear and all around. We've added it in a vertical pattern as you see here. With the white grout, we have the rain shower head up above, and then we have the detachable handheld faucet as well. So that way you can do everything you need to. And then right here, we have a transom window. So that way when you're washing up, hey, you can be head of security in your house as well. You can sit there washing up, hey, what y'all doing out there? Make sure nobody coming around. Hey, just in case, just playing, but you can put that in there and bring in that natural light if you would like. And of course, you know we gotta do it right and add those clear story windows up top. So guys, this is a great feature in the Sandpiper Reimagining. And again, it's why it's a fan favorite is you get this large ensuite bath and then you have the half bath out front. Now again, follow me back through and you'll see here with the Sandpiper Reimagined, you get so much in 399 square feet from the pantry, the full pantry might I add, because you got the small pantry here with the three doors, the half bath right there for the guests. And then of course, all of the ample space that you get in the living area. And then we've even included the desk here for you as well. So this is a great, great, great home for you. If you're currently in the market for a 399 square foot park model tiny home and you do not need a loft, 
This is one that you need to put on your list and contact me if you're interested. Again, if you enjoyed this tour today of the Sandpiper Reimagined, hit that thumbs up button, hit that like button and let it be known. Also hit that notification bell and subscribe like you should be. If you're not subscribed, then you need to do so already. If you are, you're part of their family and we appreciate you. Also, let me know what your favorite feature of the Sandpiper Reimagined was. Was it the eight foot front porch? Was it the shed style roof? The black accent walls or was it the half bath? You let me know. So that way we can keep this coming and keep going back to the drawing board and bringing one of a kind features that you can't get anywhere else in the world but right here at Recreational Resort Cottages. Also, if you wanna contact me directly, you know what to do. Run on over to Instagram right now, at the Mr. Tiny, at T-H-E-M-R-T-I-N-Y. You can connect with I anytime. I'm selling the Sandpiper Reimagined as well as hundreds of other models directly off of my Instagram. So you can contact me day or night, and I'll make sure that price is right. And until next time, my name is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'll see you next Tiny Home Tuesday.